Hello, this is Bob Cole, and it's an honor to help tell you about Richard E. Oppenheimer, a man who would and did just about anything he was asked to, especially when he joined the campus radio station while attending Seton Hall University. That's in New Jersey, and that was 1957. Were they impressed with his work? You bet. After earning his degree in communications, he learned every aspect of the business, including programming, sales, and station management. Uncle Sam then had different plans for Dick, and after serving this country for two years in the Army, it was off to Virginia, then Florida, for successful programming stints. Now let's fast forward to 1966. Dick made his way to Texas to manage the legendary KYOK. Under his leadership, it became a formidable force in one of the most competitive landscapes in the history of Texas radio. Mr. O watched Star Broadcasting's bottom line get fatter, so he set his own sights on owning his own radio group. And he did. First with the purchase of Kixel, KIXL in Austin. Then Dick traveled to McAllen and purchased KBFM. Back to the capital, he purchased KHFI. His empire expanded out of the great state of Texas and into growing markets like Little Rock and Baton Rouge, Mobile, and Columbia, South Carolina. Then Dick went as far north as Pittsburgh and over to the heartland of America, Nashville, Tennessee. By 1996, Dick had sold his stations but still had the itch. A bit of a radio bug still biting him. So 2008, Dick Oppenheimer back serving Austin and Central Texas with KLGO. In addition to AM 1490, he managed to secure an FM at 99.3, fetching headlines earlier this year with the relaunch of the legendary Coke FM. Not one to stick around and not do anything, Dick Oppenheimer doesn't have much time to look back, but when he does, he'll have a ton to think about. You know, he helped form the Austin Association of Broadcasters. He was the TAB director for seven years, and he directed the NAB for another eight. He serves on the faculty of the University of Texas College of Communications and their scholarship committee. The people who Dick know say he's the best, and he knows a lot of us. He's had such a positive impact on this industry. The folks that have worked for Dick read like a who's who of radio giants. And today, he receives... A crowning achievement to a career more than well done, but not done. Please join me in congratulating Dick Oppenheimer, a 2012 inductee in the Texas Radio Hall of Fame.